seem to be quite at their ease. Where Aslan and the witch herself, it was the oddest thing to see those two faces, the golden face and the dead white face so close together. Not that the witch looked Aslan exactly in his eyes. Mr. Beaver particularly noticed this. You have a try to. You have a try. There, Esther, said the witch. to think of thinking about his all under all he'd been there. And after the talking he'd he'd had that morning he just went in looking at Esmond. It didn't seem to matter what the witch said. Answered us, Lana Girl. Tell us of the deep magic. Tell you, said the witch, her voice growing suddenly shrilled. Tell you what is written on that very table of stone which stands beside us. Food. Tell you what is written in letters deep as a spear in long on the five stones, foo, on the secret hill, foo. Tell us you what in engraved on the scepter, on the scepter of the emperor. Beyond the sea, foo! You at least know the magic which the emperor put onto into Narnia at the very beginning, foo! You know that very creditor belongs to me as my lawful, foo! Pray, and that. For every teacher, I have a right to a kill. Ruff, ruff! Oh, said Mr. Beaver. So, that, so that's how you came to imagine yourself a queen? Because you were the emperor hang, hangman, I see. Peace, Beaver, said Aslan with a very low growl. And so continued the witch. That human creature is mine. 
His life is for fight to me. His blood is my property. Come and make and take the the it then said the bull with the man's head in a great blowing voice. Fool said the witch with a savage smile. That was almost a snarl. Do you really think your master can rob me of my rights to be Merforced? He knows the deep magic better than that. He knows that unless I have blood as a lock, says all Narnia will be overturned and perish in fire and water. It is very true, said Aslan. I do know, I do not, Denny, it, oh, Aslan whispered Susan in the lion's ear. Can we, can't we? I mean, you won't, will you, can't we do something about the deep magic? Isn't there something you can work against it? Work against the emperor's magic, said Aslan, turning to her with something like a frown on his face. And nobody ever made that suggestion to him. Edmund was on the other side of Aslan. Look. Looking all the time at Aslan's face, he felt a choking feeling and wondering if he ought to say something. But a moment later, he felt that he was not expert, expected to do anything except to wait and do what, he was told. Fall back, all of you, said Aslan, and I will talk to the witch alone. They all obeyed. At It was a terrible time. This waiting and wondering while the lion and the witch talked earnestly together in low voices. Lucy said, oh, Edmund, and began to cry. Peter stood with his back to the others, looking out at the distance. See, the beavers stood holding each other's paws with their heads bowed in the center, stamped unlacely with their hoofs. But everyone became perfectly still in the end, so that you notice even small sound like a bumblebee, bumblebee flying fast, or the birds in the forest down below them, or the wind rustling the leaves, and still the talk between Eslin and the white witch went on. At last, they heard Eslin's voice. You can all come back, he said. I have settled the man matter. She has recounted the claim on your buck brother's blood. And all over the hill, there was a noise as if everyone had been holding their breath and had no begun breathing again. And then a murmur of talk The witch was just turning away with the look on a fierce joy on her face when she stopped and said, but how do I know this promise will be key? Ha ha, roared Aslan, half rising from his throat, and his great mouth opened wider. Thank <laughs> you.